Glory be to God in the highest, amen. All his praises, his glory, his praises endure forevermore. Glory be to God in the highest. For his glory, his praises, his dominion endure forevermore. Hallelujah. We're here again by the power of the Lord and by the power of his might and majesty. We're here again to hear the word of God and word of life. Oh, my, my. The Bible says, search you the scripture, for in them you think you have life. Search the scripture. Always be closer to the word of God. Always get closer to those men of God, those women of God that are preaching the truth. The end time is here today. A lot of negative things are happening. A lot of contrary things are happening. A lot of self-made messages are happening. But Lord, be closer to God this time around. The time of our flight is coming very close. Have you booked your flight? Are you born again? Is your name found in Christ? Is Christ found in you? Are you a seed of God? The time of our flight is too close. Closer than when we got born again. Closer than when we are believed. Closer than when we are expected. The time of our flight is very close. The time of our flight could happen any time and any moment. The time of our flight is too close. So what are you doing right now? Is your name still in the book of life? Or are you still doing your things? There's no more time. Brother, sister, there's no more time. This time for us to awake from every sleep and slumber. There is no more time. This is time for us to say, God, Lord Almighty, I want to be who you want me to be. I want to be in the number. Oh, saved by grace. I want to be in the number. Saved by the divine grace of God. I want to be in that number. I want to be in that number. God, save my soul. I want to be in that number. The number of those that be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want to be in that number, save my soul. If that's what you're saying, then it's time to be ready. The song said, are you ready for the great coming day? They that reign, they that suffer with Christ shall reign with him. All the people that have suffered with Christ are going to reign with him in eternity. They will rule and reign with him. Maybe you're laboring right now, you're suffering one thing or the other. You're suffering one reproach or the other, one insult or the other, one gossip or the other, one affliction or the other. And you're still standing in the Lord. And you're suffering all this thing, and you're still standing in the Lord. You're seeing all this thing, all the shakings are there, they're calling you names, they're doing this against you, but you're still standing in the Lord. These are the people Jesus is waiting for in eternity. These are the people that is going to reign with the Lord in eternity. These are the people that is going to stay with Jesus forever and ever. When when there'll be no day, when there'll be no night, when it shall be a long, broad day. We're going to stay with him in eternity. And the glorious hand of God, the mighty power of God, and the excellence of Jesus shall flow in and move in, and Christ them shall be on all that God forever and ever. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who bless the saint of the day. Forever you are the lamb upon that throne. I want to tell you, all of you that are shedding tears right now because of the righteousness of God, I want to tell you you are going to laugh forever in eternity. I want to let you know that you are going to rejoice and dance and say, God, you are just good, you are sweet. And then you pray the name of Jehovah. For God, Lord Almighty, is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is well with you. All of you, you are welcome again to the glory of God and to this segment of... Uh, 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 perilous time, signs of the last day, part 18. Today is part 18. I told you every word of God there, every word there that is the happening of the last day, we'll pick them one by one and continue breaking them one by one, elaborating them, so that you are not going to be part of that. So that you're not going to be part of that, of the last days. Okay? Let us pray. My King and my God, everlasting Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus. God worthy of our praise. God worthy of every praise. God worthy of every honor. God worthy of every exhortation. To you alone be all the glory. We bless and praise you, Lord. To you alone be all the dominion and thanksgiving. To you alone be all the praises and worship. To you alone be all the honor. We are highly lifted up. We bless and say thank you. Father, your word is coming forth right now. 
Come and speak to us and share your word. Father, bring it to the understanding of even a layman, even on the learned, even on school. Father, bring the word to the knowledge of that on school, O oh Lord. Bring it to his knowledge, bring it to her knowledge that she or he will hear the word of God and believe the word of God. And the word of God comfort with light and power and life and word will touch every man and every woman in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the word comfort right now, O oh God, and let souls of men and women be taught to the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Those that join Jesus to so far here on earth, after all, they will reign with Christ forevermore. They that labor with Jesus Christ here on earth, after all, they will reign with Christ forevermore. They that labor with Christ here, after all, in eternity, they will reign with Jesus forever. All the sorrows, all the pain, all the tears, all you have got here, they are going to turn. And then every of your sorrow will turn to gain. Every of your pain will turn to gain. Every of your sorrow will turn to rejoicing. Oh, goodness. And you will say, God, I thank you. And you will be happy and say, God, I'm so happy. I was one time a child of God. You will say, God, I bless you for making me a seed of righteousness. You will say, God, to you alone be other glory in Jesus' name. Everybody here, you're welcome. We have prayed. And today we're talking about perilous time, signs of the end, part 18. And part 18 says, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. We're starting with the word lovers. Let's break this to all lovers and then, then later we'll go to pleasures. These are the things that is going to happen on the last day. Okay, okay, let's see what happened in the last day. People will love pleasure more. When you talk at things about God, forget about it. Come on. Go to football pitch where they are playing football. You see hundreds of thousands of people pack. Call it crusade. No, people don't have time. Oh, come on. Come on, in the church, no, people don't have time for the church, but call it rehearsal, call it choir, call it party, oh, oh, you know, uh, uh, this music is coming on, come on, people will join from everywhere, they will spend overnight, go to hear music, dance, and do whatever, but calling to worshiping of God in truth and reality, no, 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 it's not for them, are you among the people, what do you love more, do you love Jesus more, or do you love pleasure more? Let's see in the scripture in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Let's see, read from verse 24 through verse 25. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24 through verse 25. Hebrews 11 from 24 through 25. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, verse 25, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Oh my God. I want to read verse 25 again. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Are you still enjoying the pleasures of sin? I say it's for a season. Every season you are dying is for a season. So Moses, that was his decision. He chose rather to suffer affliction than to see pleasure. Because you know that every affliction now will be temporary. And every pleasure now will be affliction forever and ever. So every affliction here you're passing through right now will turn to be the great pleasure of God, where God will put into his own pleasure. It must be business before pleasure. Here we are and earth we are in divine business. After the business of God, we're then going to go into pleasure. There are a lot of pleasures before God. A lot of things. If you go to heaven, you don't know which side to start from. Many of us will be so flabbergasted. In short, not many of us. Everybody that gets to heaven will be taken to out. I mean, the person will say, ah, it cannot be described. No better language to describe it. Everything is on the highest quality so far about heaven and about the makeup of heaven. I plead with you, if you can help me share this message to people, let this message be shared to men and women. Let this message be shared to a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of people. Let this message be shared to many people so that many people are going to hear this word of God. And they are going to hear it and then be blessed of the Lord. We're talking about sensitive part today. This is what is affecting almost all of all. 
This is what is affecting almost all of us together. For the Bible, the word of God said, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. We have read Hebrew chapter 11 from 24 to 25. Moses chose to suffer affliction with the people of Israel rather than to live in pleasure of a momentary sin. They said, no, for sin, sin is temporal. We're not going to live a momentary sin. No, we're going to live and live and live for God alone. Let's live for God and for God alone. Okay, when we're talking the word pleasure, okay, uh, okay, if we use the word love, okay, lovers, lovers means lover of a particular thing is devotees, devotees of a particular thing, admirers, you know, hey, he admires this, he admires that, okay, partner, that's the word, the where the lo word lovers come from, is a partner of this, is a lover of this, is admirer of this, okay. Okay, this is what it was. Addictive. Ah, he love is a lover of bread. He eat bread. Is a lover of reggae music. Is a lover of this. Is a lover of that. Is addicted to reggae music. Is fantastic. You know, he, 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 he so this thing about it. You know, he is so fascinated about it. He, he wants to take it with spiritual and but that lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. You know, the, the line there is so extreme. You know, it is just like this. If you're going this way, lovers of God is okay. Lovers of Satan is okay. But you cannot have the two together at a time. You must choose whom to love. You cannot go to extreme with two of them together. Okay? Well, we read in the Bible, the word of God said, look at the case of Moses. He preferred to suffer affliction. What did the word pleasure mean? Pleasure means feeling of happy, happy satisfaction and enjoyment. Feelings of happy satisfaction. Oh, I enjoyed it so much. The pleasure. There will be lovers of pleasure. Oh, I enjoyed that music so much. Oh, this and this and this and that, 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 that. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. May God help us not, not to love the pleasures of this world. Not to love this world or the things in this world. Let's not be lovers of pleasures more than we do love God. Rather, may we be lovers of God in the name of Jesus Christ. May we be lovers of Jesus Christ. So, the pleasure here means feeling of happy satisfaction and enjoyment. It also means satisfaction drive from what one likes. That is pleasure. Satisfaction, the people that would lick thumb thumb, they say, oh, the kind of satisfaction I have in it. So many people have sexual pleasure outside their husband, outside their wife. They have such a pleasure. They go doing it their way. That means the person have gone too extreme. There are people that will have more lovers of pleasures. When you put vigil in the church, it's not for them. Oh, they are lovers of sleep. No more than lovers of prayers. Oh, come on. When you put love feast in the church, come on, they'll come. They are lovers of physical food more than lovers of the word of God. Preach the word of God. They will sleep up, bring food here, and say, Shia, their eye will be open so that they know the portion that will come for them. These are the lovers of their flesh. They'll do those things that flesh will like. They do those things that God never liked. They do those things outside the will of God. And God is today calling on each and every one of us. Don't be lovers of your flesh. Don't be lovers of what you eat more. Don't love, you know, Jesus asked Peter, love you more than me this? Do you love me? He said, do you love me more than this? Jesus wanted to differentiate. Whose lover are you? Are you a lover of flesh? Are you a lover of the spiritual things? Are you a lover of the world? Are you a carnal lover? Who are you and what is your love? What do you love about God? Or do you have that deep love for God? Bible said in the last day, there will be lovers of pleasure more than they do love God. My prayers is that you will love God more than you love the pleasures of this life. So many people said, I was asking one lady, you are not married every time you are into immorality, into fornication. She said, yes, she enjoys it. I said, you? You further enjoy sex? She said, yes, I enjoy it so much. I said, let me ask you a question. The pleasures of sex outside you married, how long does it last? He said, sometimes two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. I said, oh, just a momentary pleasure, a momentary pleasure. 
and that is what you use to mar your eternity, and that's what you use to mar everything. It is a pleasure that cannot add you, it cannot reduce you, rather reduces you, a pleasure that cannot fix you, rather destroys you, a pleasure that cannot uplift you, rather demotes you, a pleasure that cannot give you divine joy, but you have a momentary happiness of the heart. A ple the, 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 the pleasure that can only end up pleasing the flesh and the spirit will be tarnishing the soul will be crying and tarnishing and saying look at where you are sentencing me to eternity where I will love, I will cry and suffer forever and ever Bible, the Bible, the, brethren, the Bible says in the last days, one of the things that will happen is that there will be that weakness in children of God they will be lovers of pleasures, when you put fasting they will not be there, they told you they have ulcer, they have this sickness or the other no, all this is you're doing is not for them. They will get their mind relaxed. They will tell you, no, this is not for them. This is not for them. Oh, they said that Jesus has fasted for them. There's no need of laboring to fast. The same people that say Jesus fasted for them, they didn't know that Jesus also ate for them. Jesus has ate for you. Then why are you eating again? Why are we doing this thing to ourselves? There will be lovers of pleasures more than the lovers of God on the last day. And it is already happening in the church. Put dry fasting in the church. Everybody coming on Sunday, please put up. If you know you will not fast, don't come to church. Many people will have other churches to vision. They say, that man of God want me to fast. No, no, no. There are people that cannot even fast from morning to 10 o'clock. Their whole body is shaking them. Their whole body is shaking them. Oh, they are the lovers of pleasure. They will eat it. There are people that say they are fasting. A, a one white man visited me some time ago and he told my wife, don't prepare anything for me, that he's going to fast. I said, for how long? He said, don't worry, don't worry, I'm going to do a long fasting. He said, he's going to do a whole one week drive. I said, no, take it easy. If you're going to do such a long fasting, why not stay in the, in the morning? He walked out this and that early morning, the day he was to start the fast, he walked out. Walk far after that, he came back and was shaking and said, Do you have food? Please prepare my meal, prepare my meal. I want to eat right now, I want to eat right now. I said, you wanted to fast? He said, no, 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 forget about it. Why do we say what we cannot do? Why do we say what we cannot perform? Let's be lovers of God more than lovers of pleasure. Pleasures of this world, oh, come on. Out of immorality, out of wickedness, out of lies, you have a pleasurable car. In your car, you have everything in your car is okay. Everybody's welcome into your car except Jesus Christ of Nazareth because the kind of evil thing, the kind of perfume you put there, demonic perfume, the kind of music you put there, demonic music, the kind of stickers you put there, a demonic one. That means you Jesus don't be welcome into this car at all. At all, this is my pleasure. I want to use it by my way. Oh, oh. May the mighty hand of God be the keeper of our soul in Jesus' name. So we have pleasures, the, the lovers of God and lovers of pleasure. The people that love themselves or the people that love the way of the world or the people like things of the devil. These are the lovers. Sometimes somebody died, we were there for a burial. And there was an old ancient music drum they were trying to beat and this generation didn't know how to beat it again and the young man said he's going to learn it so i to revive this culture let it know that i say are you are you well at all this is so demonic this song we're talking about only the people that their father are dead will dance it if your father is alive and you dance it the person will begin to have some problem according to their belief so many things that are involved in that music there are a lot of initiations i say god is helping all you know, that this thing will die and die forever and then you want to go and renew it the young man was you know, fully, uh, you know, furious. He said he must have to go and renew it. He wouldn't want this culture to die. Lovers of pleasure. He said, when the, not, not to say when the song is singing, the way he's touching his brain, the way he's touching his brain, the way he's moving him. Oh, what a melodious song. I said, it's never melodious before God. These are curses before God. This is wickedness before God. This is only glorifying the devil and not the mighty hand of God. Child of God, where are you? Are you a lover of God or a lover of pleasure? It's a, it's a million dollar question. It's a question that you and you alone must answer. So, what causes people a born again child of God, a true child of God, a lover of Christ? What will cause him to turn from God to be love this world? There are a lot of things that could be responsible for that. You see a child of God speaking in tongue. You see a child of God, you're praying God together with. And all of a sudden he turned himself and begin to love us of this world. It's ah. 
But don't you see the way the music is going? Come on. So many people, children of God, have unbelieving music in their, in, in, in their car. Sometimes, mistakenly, they might not know you are there. They will just put you, by the time it gets to that track, they say, ah, do you see this music? Not that I dance it, but the way it touches my brain. Why must things in the world be your entanglement? Why must it be the worldly music that will? A lot of us today will have just put a worldly music like that, and naked women are dancing for you. You felt you're having pleasure. You are watching and you're seeing them. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. That the mighty hand of God does not rest in you in wickedness. But the lover of Christ, Jesus himself, will help you. Bible says in the last day, people will love pleasure more than they love God. Love God. Hard things, no. That is why you see a lot of people, they cannot fast again. They cannot pray again. They go for easy plan. They import power from India. They import power from Himalaya. They import power from Egypt. They import power from Ijebode. And many other places, they import power and begin to do magic for people and they break They don't even know how to preach. They only come to perform miracle, 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 miracle. And at the end of the day, you don't even see the real miracle. Fake, 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 fake all over. They use their wisdom to his people's ideal and then make away with their money. Okay? But the, 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 this is, uh, these are lovers of pleasure. They will not fast enough. They don't know how to fast and they cannot. You know, you cannot give what you don't have. When you have original, you give original. Because you have fake, that's why you are giving fake. But if you can call upon the name of the Lord and say, God, Lord Almighty, I don't want to be lovers of pleasure more than I do love you. I want you to be number one in my life. How do you know you love God? When you love God, you will love your fellow human being. When you love God, you will live in peace with your fellow human being. When you love God, you walk in the ways of the Lord. And anything that promotes God, that is what you'll be talking about. Oh, my goodness. This God have mercy upon us. Number one thing that can cause a born-again child of God, who won't have know the truth, and all of a sudden, he begins to change his mind. One of the things that will cause it is the backsliding. So many people you are talking with now are backslided in the heart. Look at what the Bible said in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 14. The Bible said, The backslider in her heart shall be filled with his own weight, and the good man shall be satisfied from himself. A backslider in her heart is full of his own way. Before you understand it, those music he doesn't die. Oh, come on. But when he was not born again, he liked those music. These are worldly music. These are demonic music. These are the music outside the will of God. But the moment, oh, come on. They begin to backslide their mind will be drawn that again to that particular place. And before I understand it, they will sing it. Oh, they will sing it, dance it, and say, oh, but people of the world, they have wisdom. Oh, look at this, look at this. Now, so it is start to, now madness, now small, small talk, you know, now small, small talk, you know, now small, small brain, they lose for brain, oh, before somebody became mad along the way. What am I trying to say, child of God? What am I trying to say, seed of God? What am I trying to say, servant of the Most High God? What am I trying to say, you woman of God? What am I trying to say, you child of God, do you love have this pleasure here more than you do love God? Oh, they're doing burial there. Oh, let me go. I'm not saying it's able to go to burial. But you know, when it's a Christian thing, you are sick, you give reason. But for the father, it is where they will go and eat and drink. Come on, you are there. You eat. Nah, nah, I enjoyed myself today. We had fun. That is why a lot of pastors are bringing a, 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 a demonic, occultic, evil, unregenerated. You know, uh, uh, um, um, comedians on the altar of the living God. They will come and mess the altar up in the name of making people happy. Bible says when you begin to see evil things standing on the holy place, according to the, the standing on a, a holy place, according to what Daniel was, he said, be careful, be careful, be careful. When we begin to position evil on the point of righteousness, where righteousness is supposed to start, the time is now. The time is now. The Antichrist is already here. He has planned what he wants to do. But the church of Jesus is what is hindering him from performing that thing. I plead with you right now. If you can say, God, I have seen it, number one, then that will make somebody a child of God, a born again, to begin to talk nonsense is because of backsliding. Have you backslidden? A backslider in heart shall be full of his own way. Shall be full of his own way. Oh, my God. God is calling you and calling me and say, are we full of our own way? Is it our thought that have consumed us? Is it our way that we're following instead of following the way of the Lord? May the mighty hand of God show us mercy. Oh, may the mighty hand of God show us mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For unto the Lord be other glory. That is one of the things that is going to help us 
and the mighty hand of God will help us to stand children of God and to stand great and clean and to stand powerful and strengthened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Another thing that will make a child of God to have pleasure in all this thing more than God is manipulation. A lot are not sensitive in the spirit. The devil is doing small drifting, small shifting in and manipulate their understanding. This one is not a sin now. It did just because this little sin and the Bible said that all this little sin living at all the level, you know, it is all the livings. Just gradually, gradually, drop it, drop it, drop it. If you're cooking a food right now, you just drop a salt. And somebody didn't know you put a salt. The person will come and drop salt again. And the person didn't know that another person put salt. Oh, come on. You drop another salt. The food will be salty and it will no more be good. The salt will be a sense for the food. It will no more be good again for you to eat. Many cooks spoil the soup. Who are your advisors? What are their spiritual levels? What are the level of encounter they have had with Jesus of Nazareth? Somebody who doesn't know his left hand from his right is a mentor. A mentor is a man who have risen, who have fallen and risen. That's a mentor. He has seen failure and have risen out of failure. He's able to lead you through. That's a mentor. He's not a man that have not failed for one time. A man who has not been castigated. A man that have never had accusation. A man that have never been shaken by the world and by God himself and by Satan. No, he cannot be your mentor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's just because he has a revelation and they say, have a revelation of God and then, and then he becomes your mentor. No, no, a mentor is a man of an experience, spiritual experience, mental experience, physical experience. That should be your mentor. A man that will handle you and lead you to that part. When you have that failure, he said, no, when I was at this point, look at what I did, look at what I did. And he see you through, not a man that have never had experience. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So many people are evangelists, they go to pastor to be their mentor. Pastor has not been under evangelistic ministry. Many people are evangelists, they go to pastor and they, 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 they. he has not been under evangelistic ministry. How can he mentor you? He has not been a prophet. How can he mentor you? Go to, you know, best of the same father that flocks together. There are a lot of things that I don't know now because I've not pastored. Though I've gotten little on experience, but the pastor, there are things I know that the pastor don't know. There are experiences that have passed through in the field of pastoral that I don't even know. God places us on individual field so that we become fulfilled in our individual field. What are we trying to say? God is trying to talk to us today. Another thing is manipulation. Look at what the Bible said in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. Manipulation can make somebody to feel that he's the child of God. Manipulation can make somebody never to take correction. If you want to correct him or her, he will fight you or she will fight you and you'll be in trouble. Everybody become afraid of him, afraid of her. Okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. But I fear less by any means as the serpent be God if through his subtlety. So your mind should be corrupt from the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. He said, I'm afraid. Let, may you not be begot. May you not be manipulated. May your mind not be torn from Christ anymore. May you just not only be full of the word, but without the spirit. May you never see God in that aspect again. May the mighty hand of God possess and walk through you, and Jesus visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. So one of the things that could cause one again, you know, to leave pleasure of God more than this is by sliding. Another one, which is point two, is demonic manipulation. The person may think he's doing right, not knowing that he's doing contrary. He may think he's with God, but God is not with him. That is it. That is it. Okay? God, Lord Almighty, we give us grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Mm. Go shine your very Lord. Show us mercy. Show us mercy, Jehovah. May we see your mercy, Lord. May we see your mercy. May we see your mercy, Lord. May we see your mercy. So that we're not going to go astray for anything. So that whatever thing that happened, Jesus will be the King and God and Lord. Jesus will be the Lord and Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm. Another thing that is the cause is that uh, demonic, okay, I've told you number two is demonic manif manipulation. Manipulation. Another number three is the devilish, devilish of a true. Many children of God have been overthrown by the power of darkness. Hey! People who are supposed to be there with the truth and be talking about the truth, they have been overthrown. 
Yeah. You know, look at it's a choice. Many people have been overthrown. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Matthew. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24. Chapter 6, verse 24. Is overthrown. Many people have been their faith have been overthrown. Look at what verse is saying. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God and the pleasure. You cannot serve God and this world. You cannot be white and black at the same time. You cannot be tall and short at the same time. You cannot be in and out at the same time. No, there must be an area where you must specialize. There must be an area where you should be. God is calling you right now and calling on me right now. God is saying, why? Where are you, brother? Where are you, sister? What is your group? Are you the one that pleases the world? Or are you the one that pleases Jehovah? You must be on one side. If you don't please God, you're pleasing the devil. The Bible, the word of God told us here right now, you cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot please God. No man can serve two masters at the time. You love him. You serve him. That is why a lot of ladies that have up to three, four, five boyfriend. This one, every time I love you. And do that. Even some men have some the, 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 the boy, girlfriend, two, three, four of them. They use one sweet coated language for this one, for this one, for this one. Oh, one language for all of them. And they may say, oh, he calls me switch. And then he comes, he don't know. He has many of you like that. He cannot serve two matters. He equally have his wife at the same time. A young lady told me that the man that so much love her, the man was taking her out, sleeping with her, and buying her things. And one day, the man brought forward the picture of her, the man and the wife and the family where they went out and was sending it to the lady and said, we had a good time today, me and my family, we went out. The lady saw it and her continent changed. She saw it, how can you say you love me and you are still keeping a woman there? Are you not deceived? That lady, are you not a fool? That a married woman is deceiving, man is deceiving you? A man that is already married is deceiving you. Are you not deceived? Bible said God is no more for whatever thing a man should so that is what the man is going to reap in Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. God is no more whatever thing a man so that is what is going to reap. Child of God, we are talking today about lovers of God. The Bible said in the last day, they will have pleasure, they will be lovers of pleasure more than they love God. Come on, come where the party is going. Some people will spend a one hour, two hour, three hour watching their films. You know, they want to pray time of prayer is that, but they are enjoying something somewhere. They are the one that fix appointed time of their prayer, but that's what they are enjoying somewhere. That's what they are seeing somewhere. Oh, they are watching the game. Oh, they are watching football. Oh, they are watching wrestling. Oh, they are watching that interesting movie. It's a war film. Is this and that. You become lovers and addicted to all these things more than you do love God. When you pray for two, three, four minutes, you sleep off. You love your job and in the morning you don't play with your job. Yeah, alarm clock can never, even when alarm clock is not ringing, you will get up and go to job. But you set alarm to pray, the alarm didn't talk. Oh, you sleep off and you sleep off. You blame the alarm for not praying and eventually you don't blame yourself, you, you, you know, for waking up early to go to your work. Lovers of God, more than they do love, uh, mothers of pleasure, more than they do love God. May God show us mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mama, mama, you cannot serve two masters at a time. You must have paid that somewhere. You must tell one, I love you, and the other one, I cannot continue with you. You cannot have two of them at a time. Oh, may God show us mercy. And let the name of God be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Shekori bra la la. Another thing that could cause one to live and have pleasure in the world again is friendship with the world. Friendship with the world. The moment you are gradually liking the world, going into the world, saying things of the world, you begin to like the things of the world. You begin to think the way they think, reason the way they reason. May the Lord help you so that you not be pleasure, lovers of pleasure, more than pleasures of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So another thing that will make it is that 
You know, when you love the world, the Bible says, love not the world and things that are in the world. The Bible says, if you don't love them, you become friend with the world. Your best friend is an unbeliever. Your best advisor is an unbeliever. What do they know about your faith? What do they know about Jesus? I'm not saying that you cannot take advice from them. There are godly good advice you can take. There are financial advice you can take. There are one advice or the other one you can take and add your own and go ahead. But what are we trying to say right now is this. Now, when you are a lover of pleasure, more than lover of God, your name is not in the book of life. You will perish. The person will perish at the end of the day. That's number. Then let look at James chapter four, verse four. James chapter four, verse four. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you know that the friendship of the world is an enemy with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the of the world is the enemy of God. The way you approach the world, the way you love the world, how many of the world is inside of you, child of God? When you love the world, live with the world, stay with the world, talk the world. Oh, everything about you is about the world. No, that's not what it's supposed to be. That's not what it's supposed to be. That the mighty manifestation, manifestation of God will rest upon your life in Jesus' name. Help, Lord, help me not to have pleasure in this world. What is in this world? What can I love about this world? What am I going to enjoy in this world? That will make me to forget about the divinity of Christ. Now make me to forget about the day he came and died for me on the cross of Calvary, that if I leave the planet Earth, straight will I go. If I leave the planet Earth, straight will I go to make heaven. May the mighty hand of God help us in Jesus' name, so that we're not going to love the world. James chapter 4 verse 4, you adulteress, you adulteress, and adulteresses know you know that the friendship of the world, okay, the friendship of the world is an enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is enemy of God. Are you an enemy of God? How much do you love the world? It is left for you to determine and decide. For the mighty hand of God is there to help you. Hallelujah. God of heaven and earth will help us in Jesus' name. So when you are communicating, when you are uh, uh, of the world, when you make yourself friend of the world, surely, 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 the person will get off the way. The person will get off the way. The person will get off the way and begin to do it like the way the world is doing it. You begin to do it outside the divine purpose and outside the divine will of God. God is preparing a package for his own people so that they will make it at the end of the day in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, bless the name of ancient of the days. What are the things again that will make a true child of God, a real child of God, a loving child of God? What is it again that can make him a heart? No, the, another thing is evil communication. Evil communication. Who are your associates? Who are you moving with? Who do you always talk with? Who do you discuss? I tell you, does it matter? Is it this little time you did it? Come on. You can do it. You do it. I used to do it. Ah, when I want to smoke, I'll go in. One woman, a widow, told me that the man, anointed, powerful, told her, Madam, it's not easy to be a widow. It's not easy to stay to be a widow. Anytime you feel like having immoral, sexual or relationship with any man, the man said, I advise you go far. Go far, go to far away place, satisfy yourself, do it and overdo it and come back, you know you have been satisfied, over it. What an advice. What an advice. Evil communication. There are people who are very clean and good in the ministry. They've started joining others, begin to see their plan, begin to see their gen, and as a result of this and this and that, they join them. And what is happening today? Bible said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33. From 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived, evil communication, corrupt, good manners. Look at verse 34. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Hey! Mashari Ababa la da 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 da. The Lord said, He speak this to our shame. Hmm. May God show us mercy. May we look at ourselves and say, God, I need mercy. These are the five things that will make that person who was one time talking power, glory, anointing. I begin to talk a different thing altogether. Manipulation of the devil can do that. Mm, evil communication. 
Oh, my friends can do that. May the mighty hand of God help us. In Jesus' name. We lift to higher above every other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. We lift to higher above every other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Thank you, my dear Lord. Thank you, agent of the days, there are families. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Wadly pleasures are deceitful. Hey, enjoy this. Wadly pleasures, they are deceitful. What did I say? They are deceitful. Why are they deceitful? They are only born momentarily. They are only for a moment. They are moment issue. They are only, you know, they are monumental. Momental. Just before understanding, oh, just momental. Before understanding, it is gone and gone and gone. Look at in the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 21. We're calling upon the name of the Lord to share all favor to the glory of his holy name. For what? Look at it. It's everything you fear that you're enjoying. It is a momentary something. Are you hearing me? It's just for a moment. Look at what the Bible said in Job, chapter 21, from 21. For what pleasure had he in his house? After him, when the numbers of his months is cut off in the midst. Who oh, nah, die? Everybody will die. But what kind of death are you waiting? Are you dying to be separated from God? Or are you dying to rest in every hand bosom and that a resurrection morning? Oh, you go up together. What are you saying? What are you saying, child of God? Mmm. Mmm. These are the things God is doing, and these are the things God Himself can do. May the Lord Almighty and of God help us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Okay? Oh. What are we trying to say? That's number one. Everything about pleasure is momentary. Everything about pleasure is momentary. Oh, my Shandara, my mama. Look at what happened again. Oh, whenever I read this place, I will just say, hey. Whenever I read this place, I will say, God, you are the owner of life. You are the maker of everything here on earth. You do your thing the way it pleases you. And nobody asks you, what do I now? What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done it? Wherefore, when I look that it should bring forth grape, brought it forth wine grapes. God dislikes your pleasures. Are you hearing me? God dislikes your pleasures. You have been living the way you want and God is calling you back, calling you back. But look at what, how you are described. What could have been done? What could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done? What is it? That is supposed to be done there. That have not been done there. Oh, mama, mama, mama. God dislikes whatever. God dislikes it too much. God dislikes it too much. That in your couple pledge job, God dislikes it so much. He has a standard. He has a standard of his own pleasure. He wants you to be in his own pleasure. He wants you to enjoy his own pleasure. God have a divine pleasure that every child of God is going to enjoy at the end of the day. So God dislikes your pleasure. Are you hearing me? God dislikes what you feel you like. God dislikes them. God dislikes what you feel you like. And I'll still show you something there in that point two again. In the same point two, that God dislikes what you feel to like. This, you are the vineyard of the Lord. He has manured you. He has given you life. What else? He needed the return from you. Oh, look at what the Bible said in Psalm 5 verse 4. In Psalm 5 verse 4. For thou art not God that hath pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. Many of us have 
wickedness, fornication is wickedness before God. Killing is wickedness before God. Lying is wickedness before God. Well, threat is wickedness before God. And look at what the Bible says. These are things that makes you to, these are your pleasures. You keep on doing abortion, thinking that no man will see you. You make your belly a burial ground of children. And you think that nobody will see you. Your life is in a record. It is all going on this time around. Look at what the Bible said in 5, 4 of the book of Psalms. It said, For thou art not a God, I have pleasure in wickedness. Those things you are, you know, living your life. You say you are the vineyard of the Lord. What else do you want God to do? He doesn't have pleasure in your wickedness. He doesn't have pleasure when you back him and begin to smoke. He doesn't have pleasure when you are carrying your drink, you are drinking your beer, you are chucking up yourself. When you have taken, you know, when you are writing lies, evidence against somebody, when you have taken money, a bribe to speak evil against somebody, when you are leaving your husband to go to another man, when you are leaving another man to go to your, uh, 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 to, uh, uh, when you are leaving your husband and going to another man, when you are leaving your wife and going to another woman, these are the pleasures here on air, but God said he hates your pleasures. All these things that make you happy, you felt you are enjoying, God said, I don't like them. Repent right now, beloved. Repent right now, child of God, you have made this mistake, you can come back again. Now that you are still alive, God can deliver you and turn you again. God will deliver you, you are a child of God. That's why this message is coming your way, that you hear this word of God, so that you are not going to be a lover of God, more than a lover of pleasure, more than you are a lover of God. God is a jealous God, he wants us to love him and love him and love him. You know, there's one thing I read about pleasure, I said, ah, Ah, uh, number three, remember number one is that every pleasure, I remember I told you that worldly pleasure is just deceitful. Number one, because it is very, very momentary. Number two is that God dislikes your pleasure. Number three is the pleasures will turn to fear. Other things you fear you like. Every of these pleasure you are enjoying, your pleasures will turn to fear. Your pleasures will turn to fear. And you say, ah, what is happening to me? Look at what Bible said in the book of Isaiah chapter 21 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 21 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 21 verse 4. My heart panted fearfully, affrighted me. The night of my pleasure had he turned into fear unto me. Eh? The night of your pleasure now will turn to fear, will turn to destruction. Because when they say peace, peace, they are eating and drinking, all of a sudden, it's a boomerang. They will love this thing, they like to be known, they have this title, they have this place, and this place, and this thing, and the other. No, 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 no. He said the pleasure night has turned to be a fearful night. One lady was traveling in a Lazarus bus in a big bus, and he saw another guy, the guy was saying, I love you. I love you. He told the lady, I love you. The lady said, I love you. They were sitting on the same seat. Before understanding, they start romancing themselves. The lady was so excited. He had met a guy he loved so much who gave his life, who gave himself. So then when the preacher was even preaching in that vehicle, they don't care. They don't care. Before understanding, they started kissing themselves. A man you never know from Adam. All of a sudden, not that they're just kissing themselves or picking themselves. They plugged it. This one bring the ton. This one bring the ton. They plug it as if they plug electric wire. They were there having pleasure on themselves. After some time, they came down. They bought food. They ate together. The man bring drink. They drank when they went to eat. And later came back to boss again. And they stayed together. The man, the lady was crossing the heart of the man. You know, this was a lady that was traveling to meet the husband again. You know, he's married, but met another man. I want to have a momentary pleasure with this one. Oh, what a shame. Do you know what happened? While they were still traveling, after some little distance, the boy started doing like this. The man started shaking, shaking. The lady said, what? He started falling down, started vomiting. Ah, the man had been epileptic. And this was the lady, the lady, the, 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 the man had been having epilepsy. You know, you know, I plugged the man. The lady was saying, oh my God, oh my God. We've been kissing here. We've been, oh, I've been sucking his saliva. I've been swallowing his saliva. God deliver me. He brought water and was using hanky to clean his tongue. Yeah, he has already swallowed the thing. He said, oh my God, what did I do to myself? It's just a little pleasure you want to have. It's just a little pleasure you want to have that bring destruction at the end of the day. The lady was saying, oh my God, he has been this with me, he's been this with me. They said, when the man later came to himself, after some remedies were made, 
The lady, they told the lady, the lady said, no, God forbid. The lady went back and stood up at the back until the, at the rest of the journey. I know she'll be telling herself, what pleasure do I have? A man I never knew came forward, started kissing me, caressing me. I opened up to this man. Oh, not knowing that he has his epileptic. He has some epileptic powers. Oh, may God serve us. All this thing we're doing here on earth, living the truth for darkness, living this for this, all these things are very, very temporal. All these things are very, very temporal. Let us go to the real thing. Let us go to the real thing. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the real thing. He is the one that Bible says in him we live, we move, and we have our being. Any territory outside Jesus, you are contrary. Any territory outside Jesus, you have gone astray. Let's remain in Christ. Let be in Christ. Let the honor of Christ, peace of Christ, joy of Christ remain our portion and possession so that we're going to be for the Lord and for the Lord forever. The Bible says, so shall we remain with the Lord. So shall we be with the Lord forever and ever. And the name of Christ alone shall be glorified in our life. So child of God, I begin to tell you, worldly pleasures are very deceitful. They will only be momentary, they will be, God dislikes them, and these pleasures will turn to evil. And they will turn to evil. And what happened again? Do you know that pleasure will blind the eyes of people to kill even the righteous? That's number four. They will, it will turn their eyes and blind their eyes even to kill a true child of God. Who have been telling them, well, didn't it happen in the Bible? Let's see. Yes, it has been happening, and happening, and happening, and happening. But God will show us mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to God our Lord and our Father, to God our Father and our Lord, be all the glory forever and ever. For unto the Lord be all the glory. Is it not happening in the case of John the Baptist? Mm. Didn't it happen in the case of John the Baptist? Yes, didn't it happen? This one was having pleasure, having pleasure, having pleasure. And John the Baptist have to go, this is your brother's wife. Your brother is still alive. What did you see? You have power to marry any type of woman you want. Leave your brother's wife. Hey, you know this stupid pleasure. You see a man that is marrying a queen. Sometimes it baffles me. A man that's marrying a lady that everybody will look at. Oh, what a beautiful queen. Look at the way she's met. The way she's been. You see him. Pursuing doors. Eh? Somebody could that the wife might not even accept to be a maid in the house. Is it not? Is it not foolishness? Because the mind has been hypnotized already. And my prayers is this: in any way you have been hypnotized by any part to begin to love the world, the easy way of the world, the eating way of the world more than Christ. May God help you to change. Yes, in the morning, very early in the morning you have eaten, in the afternoon you have eaten, in the evening you have eaten, in the night you eat again. You continue having pleasure all over your body. You don't wait for the Lord. You don't spend time with the Lord. You don't do any praying and fasting. You don't do anything apart. You're only there for the power of darknesses, and then you feel that God will be happy about it. No, 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 no. God will not be happy about it. God will not be happy about it. God wants you right now to have a rethink over what you have done to yourself. Have a rethink over what you have done to yourself. Have a rethink over what you have done to yourself. And say, oh God, show me mercy. I am so sorry about that, O oh Lord. I am so sorry. For how long will you live for yourself? For how long will you live pleasing yourself? For how long will you live enjoying yourself? For how long will you live thinking that you are living, O oh God, not knowing that you are dead? Do you know that when you're outside the will of God, you are dead. When you're outside the will of Christ, you are dead. That is what it means. Moses said, no, I don't want this pleasure. I'm not going to take over this pleasure. No, 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 no. Look at what the Bible said. Like what I'm telling you, that's point four right now. Point one, I told you, momentary pleasure is the same for number one is that it is momentary. Number two is that God is like those things you call pleasure. God is like them, and the pleasures will turn to fear. Those things you call your pleasure, they will turn to be your fear, and you will be highly terrified. And again, and again, it blinds the eyes of people to kill. I told you how John the Baptist was killed, but let but trust it in the Bible. Let but trust it in the Bible, in the book of James chapter 5, from verse number 5. James chapter 5, verse 5. 
Okay, if we start from verse 4, John chapter 5, verse 4, John chapter 5, verse 4, Behold, the hire of the laborers who have raped down the field, which is of you, you kept by by fraud, cried, and the cries of them which have raped, uh, uh, which have raped, okay, are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. Look at verse 5. You have lived in pleasure on the earth. And been wanton, you have nourished your heart as in a day of slaughter. Che! That means when you're not born again, you keep on nourishing your heart, eating good things, drinking this, drinking this, outside Jesus, outside salvation, outside born again. You will one day be for a slaughter. Are you hearing me? And look at what happened. You have condemned and killed the just, and you do it, not resist you. A lot of children of God have been killed that way. God allow it. This is to fulfill the scripture. That they killed the jaws, they killed the righteous, and they didn't resist them. But you cannot do all these things and go away. You cannot do all these things. The anger of the Lord is coming. The Bible said in verse 5, look at what the Bible said. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. You have nourished your heart as in the day of slaughter. I'm not saying that you live in pain forever, no. I'm not saying you live in lack forever, no. I'm not saying you live in sorrow forever, no. But there are times to afflict your own body in fasting. Even when you have all this thing, it's up for pleasure. If I continue living in pleasure, let me afflict the soul by going into praying and fasting and seeking the face of the Lord and removing wine, removing drink, removing food and stay only with the Lord. And the glory of God and mercy of God will come your way and Christ himself will be there to the glory of his holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What are we trying to say, children of God? What we're saying is that this is a momentary time for you to say, God, I love you. God, I want to love you. I want to be yours again. For how long have I loved the world? For how long have I sown the fashion of the world? Look at most of our ladies are wearing. They are the fashions of the world. They will come and open here and open here and open here. Where I was trying to fix my car today, there were two young ladies that came. They fair, they are beautiful. They do their hair like they when hey, I look at them. One of the mechanic was looking at. I said, "Stop looking at this type of people. These are the men that turn men into meat. They turn men into a butchered meat." I said, "Stop. You can look at these people. These people can make you to be crippled for twenty years." I said, "Don't look at ladies like this. You may think they are smart. They are painted. They are fine. They are not fine. They are sepulchral. They are the way to grave. They are the way to destruction. They are the way of evil." Don't look at them. Don't look at the way they are painted. Every part of them have been changed. Every part of them have been mechanized. They have additional from the way God has made them. They are now themselves and no more who God has made them to be. Child of God, remain who God wants you to be. Your husband may say, you are natural. I don't like natural things. I like artificial things. That is why I go out to pursue artificial. Never let you are the real, you are the original. And your husband is messing up. I want to promise you, when he still come, allow him. Any sickness he can tell you, never so far from it. I told one lady, he said, my husband is not messing up. He said, I'm at original and he needed that feature. He needed imitation. He needed low life life. He doesn't want people that will tell him the truth. He doesn't want people that will really love him. Who are you? You really love us. When the man is sick, the lovers will run away and then the wife will be there. Somebody had a party and told his brother, younger brother, a very rich man, he told his younger brother, go and invite all our friends. Go and invite all our friends to come and eat with all. God has blessed all. Let's be rich. And the brother went out and said, who are our friends? Who are our friends? And the brother started shouting, our house is on fire. Oh, our house is on fire. Come and help us quench the fire. Oh. Come and help us to quench the fire. Some of the big men said, will I go and fight fire? Some are going to... The poor people in the street say, hey, a house of a rich man is burning. They rush there thinking they will quench the fire only to be ushered in. Don't go in, don't talk, go in, don't talk, go in, don't talk. And they went and saw food, drained, everything prepared, and they bounced on it, and they were eating. And at the end of the day, the owner, the brother came back, where are our friends? Where are they? He said, his younger brother told him, sir, 
my big brother, these are our true friends. I told them that our house is on fire. They rushed out to quench the fire for us. Those people you call our friends are still in their house. They couldn't come to help us. Who is a friend? Somebody that can come to you when you are in need. When you are nobody, that person that can still stay with you. That is a friend and that's a true friend. Look at these men that are after women. They will go and mess themselves up when they are sick, when they are in trouble, when they are in pain, when they are low. It is the same woman they rejected. The same woman they never give out their the same woman they never care for will be caring for them. When they are good, they are good for the outsider. When they are sick, they are sick for the wife. Some wife are like that. Some women are like that. After men, bagging, bagging, bagging. We were talking to one of them. We were pleading with her in the United States. She saw the husband as nothing. She saw the husband as a rag, as a poor man, as nobody has nothing. Hey! You call yourself baby. Come on. Very soon you will be a firewood for hell. If you don't repent and change your attitude. When you are loving things of the earth. Come on. Where are they having party? We'll be in this party. We'll be in this booze. We'll be in this drinking. Oh, come on. You don't go to party. You are stupid. You are idiot. Come on. This is my party dress. This is my night where you go to party. You shine. You become the woman. Look, some women in Abuja, in Nigeria here. They have to go to be dancing naked for people. And people will pay heavy to come and watch them. One day, somebody saw his wife's friend naked dancing and said, it cannot be true. It cannot be true. It cannot be true. Now, most of these women that are dancing naked, entertaining people, and people will be drinking, and they saw people, you know, dancing naked. Wow! So most of them are married. Most of them are children of multi-millionaires. That means money is not their problem. But the devil has put a rope on their neck. One day, their husband has to come and see their wife dancing naked. Before understanding, everybody was arrested over there. Who are you entertaining? Are you a pleasure lover of pleasure or lover of Christ? Child of God. This is time for you to say, make a decision. Oh, come on, Joshua said, who will you serve this day? There must be a decision. Don't limp between two opinions. Who will you serve this day? Are you serving the God of heaven or the pleasures of this land? Serve the pleasures and go down to hell. Serve the God of heaven and go up. But those people that will serve God here on earth now, I want to tell you, your pleasure is coming. Your pleasure is coming. God wants to have pleasure in you. I will just tell one or two things about your own pleasure. You that is serving God, you that is serving God in holiness and righteousness, you think you cannot enjoy. I tell you that your pleasure will remain forever and ever. Your pleasure will remain forever and ever. Keep serving God. You are a beautiful girl. If you have been part of the world, every man would have liked to sleep with you. You are a man. If you are of the world, every woman would have liked to have you. But you choose to be of the Lord. Choose to serve the Lord. I tell you the Lord will bless you and you are going to see a happy better day. You are going to see a glorious day of the Lord. And you are going to dance and give God all the praise. Hallelujah. There's a great pleasure waiting for you. All this thing they're seeing now. No, 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 no. What they're seeing now, they think it's pleasure. It is never a pleasure. Every of the thing they're seeing now, they are thinking they're enjoying. No, 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 no. There's a great pleasure that is coming up for children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child of God, your great pleasure is coming when you're going to dance, when you're going to say, oh, how great thou art, O Lord. So you wait, have all these things for me, yes. God will say, yes. I saw that day you fell. I saw that day you were crying. Oh, I saw you, but I kept quiet, thinking what you're going to do, but you continued. You behave like Moses. Look at how Mo when Moses refused that, and refused and refused that, to have such a pleasure of the Egyptian, he chose to suffer affliction. Yes, you will suffer first of all, before God will honor you, elevate you. Somebody is in a stage of suffering right now. I prophesy to you, I decree, their suffering will not be forever and ever. You are at the last verge of the trial of your life. After this, there will be a rejoicing. There will be dancing. You will have been waiting upon the Lord. It has been failure upon failure, failure upon failure, failure upon failure, and you have been mocked. People are mocking you. People are saying manner of evil against you. They are talking this and that. Don't worry. Relax. That's a moment again of goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Look at what the Bible says, you that is having God, a big pleasure is waiting for you. Look at what the Bible says in Psalm 35, verse 27. Psalm 35, verse 27, your own pleasure time is coming. Your own elevation time is coming. Your own favorite time is coming. Your own exalted time is coming. Your own elevator time is coming. Your own time that no man, no woman will be there for you. When Jesus and Jesus alone will be there. Psalm 35, verse 27, the Bible says, let them shout for joy and be glad. That favor my righteous God. Yea, let them say continually, The Lord be magnified, which hath pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. The Lord have a pleasure in your own prosperity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God wants you to suffer. He said, But God, I have suffered a lot. Don't worry. That's the time like this. That's a blessing like this. That's a favor like that. You will say, Ah, God, I didn't merit it. He said, Yes, you didn't merit it, but I'm giving it to you. You are not up to this, but I am giving it to you. You didn't qualify. I qualify. You, I am giving it to you because you are mine. I have tested you, you are mine. I have seen no pride in you, I have seen no worldliness in you, I have seen nothing of the evil in you. I choose to bless you like I bless Joseph, I choose to bless you like I bless Daniel, I choose to bless you like I bless Job. Child of God, don't think you will remain like this forever. That is a, a trial that is going on in the spiritual realm. You have passed the first level, second level, just endure again and pass this level again. You got to go into the pleasure of God. And you will be on the loving side and you will say how great, how great, how great is the King of Kings, how great is the Lord of Lords, how great is the mighty man of valor, how great is this God, the Lord has saved me the Lord has put laughter in your mouth when the world has finished the war the Lord will begin his best when they finish the wars, the Lord will begin his best. When they finish the wars, the Lord will begin his best in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Look at what the Bible said in Psalm 147, verse 11. Psalm 147, verse 11. Psalm 147, verse 11. The Lord take a pleasure in them that fear him and in those that hope in his mercy. The Lord is taking pleasure in you already. And he said, is the Lord have pleasure in your prosperity. What you do will you prosper, child of God. Don't think that you are cast away. Don't think that you are rejected. Don't think that you are nobody. You are somebody for the grace of God. So I want you to make a choice this day. With your two legs, can you stand firm for Jesus of Nazareth? With your two legs, can you say, I have taken a decision. I have made up my mind. I must serve this God. Jesus will I follow in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, and all the days of my life. Can you make a vow and fulfill it? Can you say, God, you are my God, and you stand on it? Can you say, God, I will do this for you, and you remain, and you do what God said, you promise God? When you do what you promise God, God will do what he, will, he has promised you again. Forever the word of God is settled in heaven. So, child of God, these pleasures you love, all these momentary things you love, they cannot help you. They cannot uplift you. They cannot encourage you. God dislikes those things you call pleasure. Come to God and see the real pleasure. Come to Jesus and see real happiness. Come to Jesus and see real gladness. Come to Jesus and see real peace of mind. Real joy. Can you say Jesus today? I want you to be my father. Can you say Jesus today? I want to be born again. Can you say Lord today? I want to see. Oh, ba 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 can you begin to say, Lord, I love you with all my heart. I love you, God. I love you, Jehovah. Since I now know who you are. Since I now know that God delights in me. Since I know that you are interested in everything about me. That is a promise God has made for you, child of God. God is interested in you. So, oh, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama. Hey, yeah, yeah. Anybody that feels that he has pleasure of this or that. No, no, no. The person will die without God. The person will die without God. All those people that felt that. Oh, all those people that felt they are enjoying. No, they are not enjoying. The real pleasure is in Christ. The real pleasure is in Christ. Look at what the Bible says in Psalm 36, verse 11. Psalm 36, verse 11. Psalm 36, verse 11. The Bible said, If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Can you obey him? Can you serve him? If you obey him, if you serve him, you will spend your days in pleasure and your years in prosperity. Pleasure in preaching the word of God. Pleasure in helping the poor, helping the widow. Pleasure all around. 
you get up in the morning, you say, so today, me and God, come on, pleasure, you become the boss of your own, you will not be bossed around, because of being bossed around, sometimes you want to pray, you cannot pray, but God will give you all this round pleasure, so that you become a boss of your own, you are satisfied uh, with what God has blessed you with, uh, you cannot contain them alone, you begin to share them with people, and share them with people, I have proved God to an extent that what the Bible said is true, that if you are a tighter, if you are paying your tighter, if you keep being a sister, God will bless you that there shall not be room enough. Even if you have five rooms, it will not be enough to contain. When you extend it to ten rooms, it will still not be enough to contain the goodness and mercy of the Lord. And when you extend it to twenty rooms, it will still not be enough to contain, to contain the blessedness of the Lord and what God has prepared for you. It is, it is like an ocean. It's like an increasable distance. People said, just to smoke cigarette is a pleasure to go to a hard lord, commit immorality, all this is a sin, all this is a wickedness. The real pleasure is the peace of heart. The real pleasure is divine heart from God. The real pleasure is that God blesses you, you can eat what you desire and help other people at the same time. That's the real pleasure. You stay, your heart is clean before the Lord. You are waiting for rapture. When it happens, you go. That's the real pleasure. What people call pleasure are not real pleasure. Jesus Christ of Nazareth came here and died for all and preached and said, the devil came to steal, kill and destroy. This is wickedness, but I have come to give you life and life in abundance. God can come to give us life. Another version said, came to give you life and life in fullness. Come to give you life. We're shaking prayers and running over. Overflowing life is what God has come to give us. That means we're the people who are supposed to live in pleasure. You have what you want, you desire. The everything godly and righteous is meant for you. So child of God, as I'm talking to you, don't be among the people that will have the lover, be the lover of this world instead of lover of Christ. That will live in sin instead of righteousness. May God help you. May God help me. That the truth of Christ shall be seen in our life. That we shall be purified by the word of God. Let's help sin, let us hate unrighteousness, let's set evil, let's set everything negative and contrary. Let's set the devil we cannot continue with sin anymore. I have taken a decision. I have changed. I am no more there. So that you will not see you there. There were three armed robbers that were going to steal. They went to the house of a pastor and they stole. And when they stole many things, they stole living a Bible. And when they were sharing their loads, at the end of the day, there was New Testament Bible there. And they said, who is the worst sinner among us? They told one of the criminal, John, you are the one sinner among God. Even if we all stop stealing, you cannot steal. So take this Bible and read the make just of him. He said, give me, give me. They gave him the New Testament. He took the New Testament Bible and went home and continued reading it. And when he came to uh, uh, John chapter 3, verse 16, he said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, whosoever that believe in him should not perish. He said, I don't know. I don't know how to believe him, but I want to believe him. He continued reading that John chapter 3, and when he came to that, he said, he that believe in him, verse 18, is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned. The verse 36 says, he that doesn't believe in the son had no life. Hey! He said, ah! That means I don't have life. He started crying and gave his life to Jesus. In the evening, the two other armed robbers came. They were calling him, come, come, come. Let's go and steal. He told them, John is not around. They said, who is talking, boy? Boy, what the mess are you talking? They opened the door and saw where he was crying. He told them, they, they asked him, why did you say John is no more? He said to them, yes, John the armed robber died in the afternoon. John for Jesus is alive today. He has left the pleasure of this world. Now he is in the pleasure of Christ. He has seen the peace of God. He has seen the joy of God. You see a child of God suffering in the midst of problem and trouble, yet he had peace and joy. In the trial time of his life, he had peace of God. As many children of God that God has made us right now that were going to meet tribulation here on earth, we are going to do it happily gladly. Oh, come on. We are going to be a comforter to a lot of people so that at the end of the day, rapture will occur and we will go and be with our God forever and ever. To God be the glory. We are not going to meet the wolves. We are not going to meet the wrath of God. By the time God will begin to pour out the wrath, we have gone. But we are going to meet the shaking. We are going to meet the antichrist trying to come to shake us. But we will remain unshakable. There are levels you cannot go to because we are still here. We are in charge and we are in control because our God is alive. Child of God, is it not time to take a decision? That drunkenness, that Indian him you're smoking, that marijuana, mm -mm, 
There is no pleasure in it. Oh, you smoke it, you drink that cocaine, you then lie like this and say, oh, pleasure. That's not, not, you're wicked in yourself, you're wicked in your soul. The real pleasure is in Christ Jesus. He said, come unto me. Oh, you that are heavy laden, I will give you rest. God wants to give somebody rest. God wants to give somebody peace. God wants to give somebody joy. God wants to give somebody everlasting eternity. Can you come to him now? And he shall be well with you. Shall we begin to pray? Can you begin to say, Lord Jesus, I'm here. Can you begin to say, God, I thank you, I thank you. In any way, I've been mimicking the word. In any way, I've been doing like the word. In any way, I've been moving with the word. God, I'm very, very sorry about it. Lord, Jehovah Nisi, forgive me. King of glory, show me mercy and show me favor. I will no more continue with the word anymore. Father, Lord, every pleasure of life, I said no. Every pleasure of this word, I said no. Every pleasure, I said no. I want to love Jesus. If Moses can deny it in those days when there was no Christ, when Jesus have not come, when the Holy Ghost was not around and Moses used his personal mind to resist everything about Pharaoh and refused to be called the son of a Pharaoh's daughter, you can do it now with the power of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost can help you. He can comfort you. He can lead you to path of righteousness. He can direct you closely to God and you will be what God wants you to be. May the mighty hand of God come and help us. Can you begin to say, God, Every worldly pleasure in me, every worldly dressing in me, every slangs of the world in me. Oh Lord, I pull them up. I reject them. I cast them away. Everything of the world, I hate you. Get off my way. Get off my system. Get off my talking line. Come and get off and be gone forevermore. God, I'm very, very, very sorry. In any way I've spoken like the world. Lord, I'm very, very sorry. In any way I have behaved like the world. Lord, I'm very, very sorry. Let the mercy follow me and come my way. Father, we give you praise forevermore. For unto you be other glory. For you are highly lifted up. You are highly exalted. You are highly glorified. And let that glory be above all the earth, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to pray. Father, I begin to pray for my brother, for my sister. Oh, mama, mama, we lift up our hand in total surrender. In any way we have been like the world, talk like the world, spoken like the world, behave like the world. In any way we have been a blockade to somebody following us from making heaven, we are very sorry about that. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Cleanse us, O oh Lord. Purify us, O oh Lord. Watch us, O oh Lord. Make us whole, sound, and dedicated. And let the glory of Jesus be our portion and possession. And let Christ then be honored at all forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. To you alone be the glory, Lord. Every rudiment of this world and any part of this world in our body, we cast them away. In our spirit, we cast them away. In our soul, we cast them away. Father, cleanse us again and purify all and make us the lovers of Christ. Have pleasure in Christ and not pleasure in the world. Not pleasure in sin and in unrighteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be our King and our God. Help me to love you with all my heart. Help my sister to love you with all her heart. Help my brother to love you with all his heart. That we are going to make heaven at the end of the day. And Christ alone shall be honored and adored in our life. And Christ alone shall be glorified and magnified. Now and forevermore, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, man of war. Thank you, great I am that I am. Thank you, ancient of the days. God be honored. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. If you're not born again, then come on. You love pleasure more. If you're not born again, you're a deeper lover of pleasure. Can you say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry I am a sinner. I come to you now, Lord. Save my soul. Save my soul. I receive you now, Jesus Christ. As my Lord and my Savior, let thy grace be upon my life. I want to make heaven, O oh Lord. I receive you, Lord, as my Lord and Savior, now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, save this soul. Save the soul of this man, save the soul of this woman. And let that mercy come forth, O oh Lord. And let that glorify power come forth. And let the name of Christ be honored forever. In Jesus' name. May God show you mercy. So that you help this world and everything about it. And Christ's name shall be honored. Cover you in the blood of Jesus. When people are busy celebrating December. Eating this. this people are doing dry fast in that day. Saying all these things of the world is not my portion. And they go ahead. You must distinguish yourself from the world. You must distinguish yourself from other believers. You must be a child of God. God bless you. Until we meet again by next tomorrow, Wednesday, by 7 p.m. Nigerian time. 
We got to meet again on the Sunday. We got to meet again by 9 a.m. Nigerian time. God will bless us and keep us by the power of His mind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is well with you. Thank you for every encouragement you are giving to us. Many of you are sharing and sharing and sharing this. Many of you are giving us ideas. You see to that. Many of us and what to be used to improve. I mean, I improve the word of God. Improve this message. Let it get to more people. A lot of people are having this idea. They are inculcating it to us. Many people are sharing. Many people are saying the data we are using and so many other encouragement. The widow ministry and uh, the orphan ministries and all the poor. Many people are saying we must be there to be a hub. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let the mighty hand of God continue sustaining and keeping us. Continue keeping you and protecting you. Everything you have done for Christ shall never be in vain. These messages you are hearing will not be condemnation for you on that day. But rather, you it will save your soul. Everything you are doing for God is never in vain. The mighty hand of God will keep you and protect you. You have said that these people will never like data to preach the word of God. I pray you will not like anything in your life. God of mercy will keep you. God of preservation will preserve you. Oh, come on. I'm praying for you now. God knows what is lacking in your life. If that thing that is lacking, may God reveal it right now. You have touched the heart of God. God will touch everything about you. Remain blessed and faithful. Remain faithful. Remain in the Lord. Don't shake. Don't shiver. Remain unshakable. Tell that situation, I have, I, I'm, I, I'm made up. I've made up my mind. I'm a seed of God. And the greatness of God will possess you. Now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you more. It is well with you. Amen. From every part of the world, I can see people from America here. I can see people from Europe here, people from Africa, people from Asia. All over the world, I see people. To God be all that glory. Thank you for sharing. Even somebody, there are people that keep go extra mile. Oh my God. After this now, there are people that will play this again and play it. And many life will equally be taught. Thank you so much. You are not doing it for me. You are doing it for yourself and for your reward in heaven. God will ever visit you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Many of you are doing wash party with these programs. Thank you so much. Go ahead and keep sharing. And Christ's name shall be honored forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen.